the greater whole of Africa, including Chad, part of the Sahel. Uh, the, the, the tradition, the history of the region for, for, for decades uh, has been uh, to be at war at proxy with each of your neighbors. So now you have uh, uh, exceptions or states who have managed to, to change the policy. Ethiopia is the, the biggest one in that sense. Ethiopia once now is trying to position itself as, as a dominant natural mediator in the region. It's difficult for them to do it with uh, states such as Somalia where they are directly involved but, but they are doing it pretty well in Sudan and South Sudan and between both countries. Now you have states who did not think or did not manage yet to get out of this kind of historical paradigm. Uganda is one of them is fighting directly with one of the parties in South Sudan. Uh, and then you have states which are in between. Interestingly, Sudan is one of them. They're on the edge. Their habit would be to fight. In the past, Sudan used to be at war with every of its neighbors. I think one of the things that's been quite interesting as the conflict has progressed is the increasingly regional nature of the conflict. So it's not simply Sudanese rebels in South Sudan, we also have Ugandan troops. So the UPDF um, came in, in in late December in Juba, um, secured Juba, was critical, in fact, in, in securing Juba for the government. Uh, the opposition may have actually been able to take the city in late December um, if the Ugandans hadn't intervened.